I know we always say this, but can we just appreciate the t-shirt? We can appreciate the merch time. right quick. Right quick, right Let's there. Let's do that. Let's Don't worry do that. if you missed the pre-order date. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because more goodness is coming, isn't it? Don't Timmy? worry. We've, we've heard the feedback, but we got you. Don't worry about that. I mean, and guys have been good to us. And if you're worried about the colors. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another comparison video. But this time it is no regular comparison video. This is the one we've been waiting for yes. and you've been waiting for. This is easily the biggest comparison video of the year. Today, we are taking a look at the Nike Adapt BB versus the Adidas Next Level. <laughs> The bad, the laces. We have the laceless versus the self lacing. Let's get it. Yeah. First and foremost, massive shout out to Pro Direct, aka the plug. If you want either these or these, check out our link in the description box below to the Pro Direct website and they will take care of you. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video and show your support. Comment down below what you think of either the Next Levels or the Adapt BBs. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. You're going to want to do that because we've got surprises in store because it's, it's going to be a great year. It's going to be a great year. It's going to be a great year. What a year for the future of basketball sneakers and basketball technology. We have the comparison of the year. Yeah. It's amazing to see the two biggest brands, Adidas and Nike, pioneering the game, yep. basically keeping us on our toes because this is complete madness. But I'm sure you guys want to know which out of these two shoes is the better performer. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So as per usual, starting out with the aesthetics. Now off the bat, we've got a problem on our hands. We do. Because in both shoes, there's things that we love that yep. look fantastic, but there's also things on both shoes that we don't like so much and look straight up dead. Yep. In the Adapt BBs, they're futuristic, they're a low top. I love what Nike have done with the swoosh and the design of these, yep. being a self-lacing shoe. They just look fantastic. On the next levels, futuristic, but simple at the same time, there's a lot going on. Complex simplicity. Say that again. Complex simplicity, Timmy. There you go. Complex it's cold. simplicity. Absolutely love both shoes. They both look cold. Both of them look fantastic. How? However, the Adapt BB is a bit clunky. A little bit. It's a lot clunky. It's it's, a bit, it yeah. looks that way anyway. It just yeah. feels really round and really just bulky. Yeah. The next level, on the other hand, it's just so high. Very high. It's it's very sock-like. Now, really, for me, I'm not too, too mad at it. I'm not too mad. This one, on the other hand... I don't mess with it. I don't mess with it at all. Not that I don't like it. It's just that... It's overwhelmingly high, you know? Yeah, yeah. Almost as high as my socks, and I yeah. don't want that. Yeah, I yeah. don't. I hear that. Yeah. But we have to come to an agreement. Yes, we so do. So if we had to pick one, at that BB. At that BB. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Especially with the colors as well. You get to customize oh, the, the colors. Oh, the colorway so far. Two oh, pain. Man. We've seen the black one, this yeah. gray one, and the mad colorway. Yep. Yeah. I was actually talking about the buttons. That too. I was talking about That's the, the next part. So there's so many things you can customize with that shoe. So yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's an easy point. There you go. Next up, talking about traction. Now over here in the next levels, we have the don't fix it if it ain't broken herringbone traction pattern. And Timmy, if I'm gonna be honest, be honest real quick. This might be the best herringbone traction pattern I've ever experienced, bro. Ooh. So good. The bite, the coverage, the stops and starts, just everything the traction yeah, pattern has you I covered, bro, is so good on dusty courts. I mean, it shocked me. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's it herringbone. Was, it was, yeah, I get that. It was fantastic. And you had that BB. It's a radial traction pattern inspired yeah. by Air Force One. Yeah. It makes sense. We're talking about icons right here. So that BB is its own icon, paying homage to the Air Force One. Yes. Cool. 
Now the grooves itself, super thick. Now you pay a pretty penny for these shoes. You do. You do pay a pretty penny, so they do feel as if they're gonna last a long time. Well, it looks like they had it in mind. Thick grooves did the absolute trick. They bit the floor really well. Coverage is really good. Step back, twists and turns, defensive slides all took absolute care. That's yeah. not the right sentence. It got sentence. taken care of. It got taken care of. Yeah. I just said that they're wrong because I'm just so gassed about how good this traction was. And it was that good. But what they want to know, Timmy, is was that traction pattern better than this? Be honest now. <laughs> Don't lie now. It wasn't. Not even close. Chill, but not even not close. Even close chill, 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 chill. I mean, obviously, the best traction patterns of the year video is going to come up. Okay. And I mean, I'll be alive. This shoe is not going to be in that video. Oh, I hear that. And I'm. <laughs> that shoe is oh, not going to be in that video. You're firing <laughs> shots. <laughs> You ripped off the whole shoe. The video's not even here yet. It's cancelled, man. It's Spoilers. Cancelled, bro. This traction pattern is a madness. The right, point goes here. Here. Done. Say no more. Next up, talking about the cushioning in both of these shoes. In the Adapt BB, it's pretty regular. It is. But for good reason. In the Adapt BB, we've got cushed on throughout. Now, like I say, it's pretty regular. It's almost Nike's traditional cushioning system. They've had it for some years now. But I'm only guessing because of the system inside the shoe, which we'll get to later, they kind of had to go with a cushion system that would kind of not get in the way. That's pretty much it. I'm not mad at the cushion system. No one's shoe. mad at it. I feel like Nike could have chucked in a zoom bag in there. They could have. Ladies and gentlemen, we have light strike. Introducing. I mean, if you're familiar with bounce, this feels probably just as good as bounce. Mm -hmm but maybe a tad bit more responsive. Oh, head and up. that's crazy to say because Bounce is known for its response. Bounce is known, it's, it's in the name for goodness sake. What's amazing about Light Strike is that it's really responsive, provides you with amazing court feel, and it's really comfortable too. So what more do you want? I know, you guys wanna know which one's better, right? Timmy, let them know which one's better. Go on, Timmy. Now keep them waiting, Timmy. Before I say anything, yeah, I'm gonna start off by saying, But Kuslon <laughs> yeah, is very good, yeah? All right. Very, very good, right? <laughs> Good response, it's, it's kind of comfortable, yeah? It's just not as comfortable as Max, right? It's I'm not, no one is. I don't know why Tim was longing it out that I would, much. I was, I was, I'm just making very Tim clear, was it out that Kuslon much. is really good. Light Strike is a madness. 2-1. I don't know why you're doing updates on scores. So they can see it. They legit saw it at the bottom of the screen just now. It was right there. It was there. And two, you're talking. 2 1. So you say it again. Okay, cool. Next up, talking about the materials no, over no, no, here. No, no. The materials. Next up, talking about the materials. We have a prime lit construction backed up by an internal neoprene sleeve, which is absolutely beautiful. We'll talk about the fit in a second, mm -hmm. but the fit comes from the materials. Everything that's going on here is just crazy to me. It's so comfortable and the breaking time is extremely minimal out of yep. the box. I'm speechless, really. I don't know how Adidas has clocked this. They've done an amazing job. I, 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 hear, I hear what you mean. I, I've understood what you've meant and I shall now rebuttal with the Adapt BB. Now over here in this shoe, we have a beautiful, truly beautiful fly knit shroud shroud yeah which is only on top layer of a woven mesh construction underneath flexible breathable beautiful now it's not even a stat but beautiful get thrown in there all right cool because it felt fantastic i loved it in these yep. like i said breathable flexible lightweight as well so really really nice uppers in material we also have some suede as well which back to this is the hill counter and the hill clip and whatnot lovely materials on this side lovely lovely materials are they lovelier than these materials to me no they are not they're not no they are not why man i'm not gonna like prime knit on that side with that neoprene it's a fantastic combination yeah it is a crazy combination yeah next up talking about the fit another crazy one yes because you can't just go out here taking away laces, replacing laces with self laces and just think the fits is going to be okay. Yep. So that's taken a lot of time, effort, so much. And then we have the final product. All right. So the fit in the Adapt BB comes from the Electro Adaptive reactive 
lacing system. Now you just showing off. Mad thing. It's inside this shoe, and what that means is this shoe laces itself. You control it, of course, all through your smartphone. If you ain't got one of those, you can do it on the buttons too, as we just showed you. You control the fit. It's up to you, how you want it. Do you want it chill? Do you want it game time? Do you want a bit of both? Do you want it left is tight, right is looser? It's up to you. Yeah. That is fit taken to another, no, you know what it is? That's fit taken to a next level. What now, Boris? Oh, you done take my name. Yeah, I done took your name. <laughs> you done took my name. Done took your name, yeah. <laughs> what I will say, yeah, is that there is some breaking time, but it's not regular breaking time. Yeah, it's, not regular break -in. it's not regular breaking time. It's experienced breaking time. And what that means is, when you first put the shoe on, you're going to feel something you've never felt before. Yes. So you're going to be breaking in to that experience. Why did you keep switching fingers? So that's what I mean <laughs> when I say there's breaking time in this shoe. But it's not regular breaking time. Fair enough. Now with the next levels, the only thing that you'll feel initially is the shoe being extremely tight. All right, it okay. is very tight Understand out me. the gate. All right, it's not a breaking in thing. It's more of a thing of you just got to get used to it. All right, and once you do get used to it, the shoe molds around your foot. The neoprene, the internal sleeve, is elastic. The the form of the shoe, the way the shoe is constructed, it reforms, it retracts back to its original shape. And every time you put your foot back into the shoe, you feel that exact same tight sensation. Yeah. Okay. But the fit is really really nice. It basically depends on your your foot shape, all right? You slip your foot in there and the shoe will mold itself somehow, some way around your foot using the elasticity in the shoe, yeah. okay? It's really good. I mean, it's, it's materials. crazy. Everything you just said there sounds really similar. You know what I'm saying? You put your foot in and it molds to your foot. It conforms yes. to your foot. It sounds really similar to yes. things that are going on this side. It's crazy. Yes. I do love what Adidas has done here. Really I think nice. they've done an amazing job here, you know, completely removing laces they've completely removed laces they didn't have to add no gimmick in you said there. you said remove twice okay, okay. they removed so they, no 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 gimmicks added it's just uh, okay. taking everything completely away you no, know? it's funny you say no that. distractions it's funny you say that it's funny because you say there's no gimmicks were added as if to say there was gimmicks added here because a gimmick would be something that isn't functional isn't it right. so however on this side no gimmicks were detected so just give the shoe the damn point. Yeah, I'm just, gonna do that. Just give the damn point. All right, that's point. exactly what I'm gonna do, Flav. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. Next up, talking about support. Now, when this shoe was announced, there's two questions I asked myself, and I'm sure you guys asked yourself the exact same questions. I said, Flo, how well will the shoe fit? And number two is how supportive will the shoe be? Okay? Now, Adidas removing the, the laces in the shoe, it's, it's a bit like when Apple removed the headphone jack to me. Ooh, I hear that. You know, it's like, it was really concerning at first. Yep. But once you get the product, you don't even realise you needed it in the first place. <laughs> that's the one. You know what I'm that's saying? That's the one. No, that bag. Come that on. Bag, that bag. No, 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 no. That's off the dome. That's there, off the bro. dome. It's exactly the same that. way it would be in a normal basketball shoe that had laces. Maybe even better than other basketball shoes that has laces. Yeah, few, yeah. So, no concerns, people. You have your internal heel counter. We have this nice TPU banking yep. for lateral support. We have the outrigger of the shoe. We have the overall fit again, which comes from the no laces, which is crazy to say. So the support is really good because everything's still there, even though we remove the laces. Over here in the Adapt BB, support was another thing that actually took me by surprise in another way as well. Now, yes, the laces are still there, they're just self lacing. And of course, the fact that you can change the fit to suit you yeah. means you do get an adaptive fit plus adaptive support and even shoe as well. That's very if true. we're talking any type of injury or any type of, I don't know, uncomfort you may feel in regular shoes, you can really change it per shoe. And that jumped out to me massively. So in the Adapt BB, you have the usual suspects, the outrigger shape, you have the internal heel counter along with an external heel clip, which go together amazingly well, felt yeah, amazing. Yeah. So it's been a long time since I've seen an external heel clip on many shoes, not too much anyway. Yeah. And of course, the overall lockdown of the shoe comes from that fit again, and that self-lacing. Even the cushion system, the cushion comes up a tiny bit more to give you that lateral support as well. And you really feel it across the shoe. I loved the support in the Adapt BB. You know what, Timmy? What? Me too. Oh, I really liked the support in the shoe, that. man. It was really good. It banged, right? It did bang. It was fantastic. Yeah. 
I think it's been a minute now. That's yeah. a point. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I, yeah, come on. Yeah, that's a point in there. Yeah, let's give it to him. Let's give it to nah, him. Nah, chill, chill, chill. Nah, 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 the Peter thing's over now. We'll give not, it to him. Nah, we're not. Nah, nah, no Peter points. Alright, cool. Right. It's a, we decide together and we we'll give the point to that. Stop actually. saying give. It deserves it. There you go. That's there what I'm go. waiting. Timmy's happy now. There you go. Yes, I am. <laughs> Lastly, talking about the price in both shoes, the Nike Adapt BB is priced at three hundred pounds, whereas Adidas Next Level is priced at one hundred and sixty pounds. So therefore, the point goes to Adidas Next Levels. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit up Pro Direct. Link in the description box below. Um, what else do we do when we sign up? Um, let's get it. Is that what we do? Let's get it. There we go. Video done. Sweet. See you guys later. We're not going to talk about it. All right, I'll come in. One second, sorry. No. What's there to talk about, Timmy? There's nothing you said, there's nothing to talk about. What's there to talk about? Bro, the shoe costs 300 pounds. 300 pounds, yes. Yes, 300 pounds. And this is, this is the future of basketball. It is. Don't get me wrong, that plays a small part. Small part, I'm lying. It's not, it plays a big part. Laceless, big part. But this is self lacing, bro. It's here. Do you know what's crazy to me, yeah? I can't believe that a shoe that costs 160 pounds has won the pricing battle. Bro, 300 pounds, man. It's a lot of pee, but it's. I think it's money well spent. I really do. You know, if I'm paying 300 pounds, I want Nike's best technology nah, from top that. to bottom. I want full length zoom. Make it work somehow, somewhere. Make, Make it, it work. work. My head. It's tough. But I hear what you mean. Next level goes hard. Right. I hear what you mean. But I'm glad we spoke about it, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad we had a conversation about it. I'm glad. I think that's, I think that's good. The Adidas Next Level has come out on top 4-3 by the skin of its teeth. Now, if we remove the non-performance aspects, yeah. i.e., you know, aesthetics and price, yeah. it would still come out on top. Okay, cool. It has better traction, in our, our opinions, yeah. it has better traction, better cushioning, and better materials. Whereas the support and the fit is better in this shoe. So technically, if we're talking about the battle of the laces, that shoe might have won. Might have come out. I'm talking two of the biggest things when we're talking laces, support and fit. Self laces might have taken the cake it on that taken small a, category. It might have taken a cake because Adidas has clearly focused on the aspects that don't really associate themselves with laces. Whereas Nike has said, you know what? We're gonna make the support and the fit bang. And so it did. did. However, my shoe still won. <laughs> How do you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's it from us. Once again, massive shout out to ProDirect AK The Plug. If you want either of these shoes or anything basketball related, check out their website. It's a brilliant website. But before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as per usual. Like this video and show your support. Comment down below if you've agreed with our pick for the next level on top or if you're more of an Adapt BB fan like myself, it happens. Lastly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every single time we drop a new video. So right guys, that's it from us. This is the Nike Adapt BB. This is the Adidas Next Level. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.